Okay, this session is uh, has been prepared by Leslie Graham and myself, Kathy Cummings, and in this session we're going over uh, decimals and manipulating numbers with decimals. So we're going to start with basic addition, and you can see one of the important things is to line up your tenth column your ones column and your tens column. And remember, once you go to the other side, to the right of the decimal, it's tenths, hundredths, thousandths, etc. So we need to line them up. And if you remember in the last session, I said, you know what, you've got to really guesstimate. So with this one, I would probably say 56 plus 62. And so my number should be close to 118. Um, so I'm always trying, I always do that to make sure I'm in the right area. Now, we're going to add 9 and 8, and 9 and 8 is 17. And I'm going to put my decimal in right now. And there's my, my 7, and then we're one more, so I'm going over into the 1's column. And I've got 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 1 more is 7. 5, 6, 7, good. Now I don't, it's, it's less than 10, so I don't have anything over here now. And 6 and 5 is 11. So you can see my answer is 117.7, which is close to my 118. So I know I've done it correctly. We're going to go down, and now we're going to subtract. And you see how I carefully, carefully line this up. Most people that do errors in math is because they don't line up their columns. And we're going to talk about borrowing. And, uh, but before we do that, we better... So I would probably... I'm going to make this one bigger. So I'm going to make this one smaller. I'm going to make this 77 and this one 9. Um, so 9 from 7 is... Or 7... I have to borrow here, sorry. Uh, 9 from 17 is 8. And then we've got 6. So my answer is going to be very close to 68. Um, so let's see how we do. So we're subtracting. And we cannot subtract 6 from 5. 5 is smaller. So we need to borrow here. So we're going to borrow. But when we look at this, oh my goodness, that's smaller than that. So usually I go over one more and I say, okay, I don't have enough here. And I don't have enough here, but we, we'll do it slowly. So first of all, I'm going to borrow and make this 5, and then this is 15. So 15, take away 6, and you have to do it on your fingers, it's okay. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. So 15 takes away 6 is 9. Now, 5 from 8, we can't do it. So we're going to borrow again. We're going to make this 6. And add the 1 to there, so we now have 15. And 15 take away 8 is 7. And then there's only 6 here, nothing here. So our answer is 67 decimal, see how we're lining up, 9. And look, woohoo, we're very close to our guesstimated 68. So I probably won't have to do this again with the calculator. I might recheck. But, or do a calculator, but I know that I am so close in both of these. So let's go over. Multiplication is maybe a little bit more complicated because we're going to have to um, uh, add up our decimals. So what I would do here is I would, if I'm guesstimating, I would say that's decimal 03 times, let's make it, uh, decimal 1. So 3 and 0. We've got 3 decimal places, so I've got to go 1, 2, 3, because there's 3 here. So my answer is going to be close to de 0 decimal 0, 0, 3. So let's see how we do. Did I do that right? 1 decimal 0, 3. I think we're good. I hope so. Okay, so we're multiplying. So we're going to multiply 4 times 8 first. Because we're four eights are 32. I put my little three here. Four twos are eight. And then I'm going to add the three. Nine, ten, eleven. And I'm going to put my one there. Uh, four times zero is zero. 
plus the 1 is 1, and 0 here. We're good. So 4 times 8 was 32. 4 times 2 is 8. 9, 10, and 11. I put my 1 there. 4 times 0 is 0. I put my 1 here, and 4 times 0 is 0. Now, 1. So I always move over. As soon as I go over to this column, I just put a 0 here. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 0 is 0. And 1 times 0 is 0. So now we add this up and we've got 2, 9, 3, 0, 0. And then we go over 5 because we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 decimal places. So I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our answer is 0 decimal, 0, 0, 3, 9, 2. Now, in this case, uh, it's maybe I, I would probably, depending on what I'm trying to calculate, I would round that up and say it's approximately equal to 0 decimal 004. When uh, Leslie or the math teach, the pharmacology or drug math teacher is um, teaching you, she'll tell you how many decimal places to go to. And this little symbol means approximately equal to. So in this case, we are going to three decimal places. Now, um, in this case, we're dividing 11.284 by 2.6. And in, I'm going to make this easier to make it 3 into 11 or even 3 into 12. So 3 into 12 is 4. So it's going to be less than 4, isn't it? It's definitely going to be less than 4 because I made that much bigger. Um, so now with decimals, you're going to you just move the decimal on this left side. So we're going to go 1 over. So we have to do the exact same thing here. Now something that I do, I immediately put it up here so I don't lose track of where I am. I'm going to tell you something else I do. I, it's hard to divide 26 into 112. And um, remember, I grew up in the generation where we didn't have calculators. So I might go, I might say, okay, 26. Let's, uh, and this may be a little confusing to you, but let's make that 3 into 11. So we know that uh, 3 times 3 is 9. So our first number is going to probably be close to 3. So I just made that into a whole number and this into a whole number. So I'm only looking like uh, 3 into 11, uh, um, which will go 3 times or 4 times. Let's see. Uh, so let's do 26 times 4. Three, yes, it will probably be 3 into 12, 4 times. This is a bit big, and we're, we're going down. So let's do that. 4 sixes are 24. 2 fours are 8, plus 2 is 10. Now, if we did 5, it would be too big. But you can uh, play with this a little bit. But 104 is definitely should be okay. So I'm putting my 4 in. And then my 1, 0, 4. Now, if my answer, when I subtract, is greater than 26, I have to make this one larger. But I think we're okay. So, now we are going to borrow. And we're going to make that 0, make this 12. 4 from 12 is 8. And then we need to bring this down. Okay. Now, 26 into 88. It's definitely not 4. So let's try 3 into 8. Let's try around 3. Because I made this 3 and this 9. So I think it's going to be very close. See, if I rounded that up, it's 90. So 9. And this rounded up makes 3. So we're, let's try 3. So I'm going to go over here and do 26 times 3. Six, 12. 3 sixes are 18. Two threes are six, plus the one is seven. Yep, that's going to work. So we're going to put a three in there. Seventy-eight, subtract. We have eight from eight is zero. Eight from seven is one. 
Now we have to bring this one down. 104. Oh, see something here? We already did 104. So we, I'm not going to waste time. 4 times 26 is 104. Now we have 0 remaining. And so our answer to two decimals is 4.34. When we estimated it, we said it would be, I said less than. Sorry about that. It is right around 4, and I could double check that. So 3 into 12 was 4, so it should be right around 4, and that's where we are. Are we okay doing this? Do you think it's good?